Hey, what's up guys? Dallin Taylor here. Today we're going to be talking about how much you should be charging for your video production services. Let's get into it. Look, you can charge whatever you want, but today we're gonna to talk about some guidelines to help you follow so you can price your next videos more effectively. All right, I've broken this down into three tiers of experience, beginner, intermediate, and professional. If you're having trouble figuring out where you might land, let's talk about it. Beginner, zero to $100. I chose zero to $100 because when you're starting out, you're likely just hungry for experience. You just wanna get in the game, you wanna get some shoots done, and you wanna be able to start building that portfolio. You're likely to not have a lot of gear. You probably just have your camera that you're working with and a computer to edit on, and that's totally fine. That's how I started too. Beginners have somewhat of an understanding on how to calibrate their camera correctly, and typically can do basic edits like add cuts and simple transitions, but often make mistakes like choosing the wrong lens, over or under exposing the image, having your ISO way too high up, or maybe not color correcting your footage correctly. If this sounds like you, just keep going. Seriously, you're gonna learn from your mistakes and you're gonna be well on your way to your next tier. Intermediate, 300 to $1,000. I chose 300 to thousand dollars because you probably have a decent portfolio built up at this point. You have some solid experience under your belt, upgraded some of that gear and got yourself some lighting equipment. Good job. When you move to the intermediate level, you're getting a clean image every time now. You're done with those silly mistakes you used to make before. Now you're lighting scenes correctly, choosing the right lenses, and color correcting your footage. You probably got a lot better at editing too. You're building up your element bank, you're able to get more transitions, and you're downloading things all the time to be able to help you edit faster and more effectively. If you're looking for websites like these, go ahead and check out Envato Elements or Storyblocks. These are not sponsors, but I do use Envato Elements and I do enjoy it very much. If this sounds like you, it's time to optimize. Let's move on to our next tier. Professional, $1,500 to $3,000 per day. At this point in your filmmaking journey, you have learned from your past experiences, you've learned from your successes and your failures and your failures. You've taken a lot of L's to get to this point. I chose $1,500 to $3,000 because you're likely working with a production team now. You're likely niching down into what you really wanna do. Do you wanna hold the camera? Do you wanna direct? Are you the editor? You're hiring a team to help delegate these things and you work around it. You're getting the jobs. You're doing what you need to do. Now, this means a lot of different things to a lot of different people because some people can still be professional and work by themselves. Let's get that out of the way. But as a pro, you're gonna be able to hire an effective team and delegate a team to be able to achieve the results when it calls for it. A common misconception is that you need high-end gear to be able to do every single job. That's not true. Every job calls for what the job calls for. If the client wants drone footage, you're not gonna strap a red dragon to a helicopter Ensure a solid and consistent product and your client will be happy. I mentioned Optimize before. A lot of professionals will develop systems to intake clients using softwares like HoneyBook or Bloom. These softwares allow you to capture leads, send invoices, and manage projects. Where do you fall on this scale? I'm really curious. Do you think you're a beginner? Do you think you're an intermediate? Are you on your way to the pro level? Are you a pro? I would love to hear where you guys are at in your filmmaking journey. I would love to hear your ideas in the comments. Let's open a discussion for other filmmakers. Thank you guys so much for your time. And until next time, let's keep learning.